Hello, Russ of Aquarimax here. I know this is kind of a strange schedule, but uh, I wasn't able to do a normal live stream this week and I thought someone asked in the last live stream if we could feed the morning geckos or rather they wanted to see the hatchling morning geckos. So what I decided to do was feed them live so you can get a look at them. You can see one in the top right hand corner of the shot right now. Um, it's prowling around. There's one in the top left corner of the enclosure in the in the back. I don't know if you can see it up there on the rim. But I am going to release some calcium and vitamin supplemented Drosophila melanogaster fruit flies into the vivarium in just a minute and you'll get to see the meat. So that's the plan anyway. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Looks like some people are already in the chat. What we got here? We got Yeti Grant. Welcome. What's up? Well, I am doing okay glad to see you here it looks like we got a lot of people in today already we got 13 people and a couple of likes so that's a good start I'll take it all right I'm just gonna wait maybe two minutes total until um, we've got a few people in here and then I'll go ahead and feed the geckos aquascaping 101 hi Tanya Lida you're here as well great great to see you all potato derp oh potato derp is here is alive maybe not so happy but alive. Well, alive is good. Uh, that, that's something. I'll take that. All right. As you may notice here, looking at this vivarium, I had to remove the Peperomia Rosso that I had in here. It wasn't doing so well. Oh, Jack Lamontan is here. TJ's Reptile World. Hi. Can you see any of the geckos in this shot? I don't know. Um, I can see a couple of them. Hopefully, you can see them too. The Color Grim. Hello. Is here. All right two minute mark we've hit it I'm gonna go ahead and add the fruit flies I'm gonna to have to see if I can scoot this little hatchling off of the door here maybe she'll take a jump off herself we'll see how it goes no, she's not doing it so I'm gonna have to move her there but then you can see her hopefully better and here come the fruit flies I've got them here in a deli cup I'm gonna pour them kind of on the back and around onto the cork bark there so hopefully we'll get to see I'm eating in just a minute. I think what I'm going to do as well, I'll probably take the door, uh, or sorry, I'm going to take the um, iPad off the stand here so that I can move it around a little bit more. Um, all right. All right. Oh, so Tenya Lida is Somanoir. Nice. And Rookie Reefer is ready to feed some geckos. And here we go. I'm sorry, it's jiggling a little bit. There's nothing I can do about that, really. But let's take a look and see who's eating. What do we got going on? Oh, there's one eating right there. So TJ's Reptile World is, world is raising leopard geckos. Nice. I have one leopard gecko. Salvo. Salvo's in the house. Hello. And welcome. Oh, there's one. Did you see her catch that one? That was a nice shot. She looks pretty hungry. Oh, I see... The bigger juvenile back here behind the cork bark. I don't know if you can see its little head back there. That one's quite voracious eater. All right, Blue Basin Aquatics. Oh, you used to be Rico's Reef. Nice. <laughs> says they're so cute. Tenually, this is they're so cute. I might cry. They are pretty cute little creatures. Oh, here comes one. She's just about to get that fruit fly there, or maybe she's picking one. Is that an egg? You see? Yeah, there are a couple of eggs in there. Um. I think there are two that I know of in here. Let's see. Jack Bordeaux says, I can't wait till mine start laying eggs. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to watch them produce eggs. Now everybody's eating. I don't know if you guys can see all of them. There's a whole bunch of them feeding. That one, the larger one there on the left behind the cork bark is about two months old. Oh, the one's gonna catch some right out of the water dish. They're usually pretty good at that without getting wet. Let's see how she does. She's probably having a hard time. Oh, not bad. She got it. Oh, but she dropped it. That's too bad. She'll probably try again. It's hard to aim when you go for three at, at once. She's going to try again, though, it looks like. Oh, now there's four. That makes it harder. So my who says, are these the babies that are going out to your waiting list? Yes, they are. Yep, they're doing really well. They're probably going to wait till September. Oh, nice shot. She wasn't too happy about getting wet, but... She got her fly. 
not bad. All right. Oh, we got 25 watching. Nice. Yeah. Andrew's animals. You like them, huh? Me too. Yeah. Although if you get one, you're going to need two because they're very social. So it's better to have two than one. And the more the merrier. They also tend to be a lot more visible if you have more of them. Like in here, there are eight and I see them all the time. If there were only one or two in there, I wouldn't see them very much. Potato Derp says, I have a 20 gallon tank set up. Now I just need to wait for the Daphne eggs to ship. Nice. Nice. My Daphne are finally doing well again. Um, after a, not quite a crash, but very close to a crash. I lost most of them and now they're doing really well. I have hundreds again. So I wish you well with your Daphne. Oh, there in the top left corner. She just got one. Oh, she's, she's pretty voracious. Yeah, good luck with those Daphne. I hope they work well for your potato derp. And the color grim. I, I, the little one got it. She did indeed. And there's a tiny one. I don't know if you can see her. Right, almost in the center of the screen, just to the, the right of the one that's, that is to the right of the water dish. She's moving a little bit. Maybe you can see her. She just grabbed one, but her face is obscured. It's kind of hard to see her. She's hiding in among the leaves. Let's see. Yeti Grant says, I just treated some of my baby dart frogs to my buddy. Trade it, traded probably to my buddy for some baby morning geckos. Excellent. Good way to get some. Oh, there's one. Just grab some right above the water dish there. And Andrew's animal said, yeah, I know they like to be in groups. Someday I'll have them, hopefully. Yeah, good, good. I hope you do. They're a lot of fun. Um, Tenyalita says, where would you recommend buying isopods from? Well, if you can get them locally, that's always great. But if you can't, well, I sell them, of course. If For those of you in the continental United States. Oh, I love her tail wiggling. Did you see that? The one to the right that's sitting on a leaf. Sometimes they'll wiggle their tail right before they grab a fruit fly. Like that one's doing the water dish. She's just about to pick one out. Oh, nice shot. She got one. Okay. Um, well, as I was saying, uh, you can buy isopods for me if you're in the continental US. Um, Josh's Frogs has them. Annie Herb has them. CaptiveIsopoda.com if you're looking more for fancy isopods. I have some fancy isopods and uh, some utilitarian isopods, I guess you'd say, for janitorial work. Um, things like Josh's Frogs and Annie Herb. Bugs in Cyberspace, they'll have um, mostly the utilitarian one, although Bugs in Cyberspace has some of the hobby ones too. Um, so it kind of depends on what you're looking for, but Captive Isopoda has both as well. So those are some sites you can check out for isopods. There's one coming down the back. I don't know if she's gotten any yet. She's there on the on the ficus plant, oh, darting around a little bit there. Okay, back to chat. I'm trying to follow along. Um, Salvo Smith says, "How long does the incubation of the eggs last?" It depends on the temperature. Usually, I find it's around three months. I, the longest one I ever had that I recorded was four months and 15 days, I believe, or well, four and a half months about. But usually not that long. Ooh, sorry, that was a little abrupt there, but I just wanted to get a little close-up on the little geckos. Um, but yeah, it's usually about three months in my experience, and it does depend on temperature. Very... Uh, very influenced by temperatures, so the warmer it is, the faster they go. But I think when they go a little bit longer, they tend to be more robust, although if they go too long, I think they come out a little dehydrated, honestly. Oh, now you can see at least four of them in the shot. That's nice. Um, so Rookie Reefer says, nice, Yeti. Someday, something else I could, I would love to own. Yeah, these are really popular, and they're, I can see why. They're just really fun. I've enjoyed them a lot. Kind of fell in love with them in Hawaii, as I may have mentioned in other videos when I lived there, and just uh, never got over it. They're just fun. And potato dirt using a plastic tub works aquariums, but cheaper. I have fairy shrimp in one too. Yeah, well, gotta love the plastic tubs. Definitely cheaper. And Tenya Lee says, I think you'll be getting some soon. Awesome. I can see five in this shot. One of them mostly hidden. But uh, some eggs. Says you keep any roaches? No, that's one of the few creatures I am forbidden to keep by my wife so I don't have any roaches at all but uh, um, I wouldn't mind keeping them if that were allowed but she really doesn't want me to do it so I'm okay with that um, insert name here says hello I say hello back and welcome 
I'm glad to see so many people here. Thank you to those of you who have clicked the like button. I really appreciate that. If you want to hit it again at 11 minutes, we'll see if we can get a like spike going. Well, let's see. There's five of them again showing up. It's so funny how they will be very territorial even at this size. When they're just a couple of days old, they can be extremely territorial and they'll be chirping at each other and the chirp is barely audible. I apologize that I'm shaking a little bit. I'm trying not to. It's my position. I'm going to try to adjust it and that's going to be annoying. Um, sorry about that. As I adjust, I'm just changing the way I sit. Usually I use a tripod, but it's a little bit to do this and focus on so many geckos at the same time. So I'm not using a tripod right now. I'm going to take the focus out just a little bit. Maybe that'll make it easier for you to see kind of panoramically what's going on in the vivarium. And Salvo Smith says, I like with Herman tortoises also at warmer temperatures, more females will hatch. And as this summer is super hot, I guess in September I'll have mostly girls. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of reptiles are temperature sex dependent. It's true. Uh, morning geckos are one of the uh, reptiles that are not temperature sex dependent because they're basically all female. Males are occasionally, they occasionally crop up, but they do not appear to be uh, fertile. They don't appear to contribute anything to the gene pool when the males do show up. I don't know. How's the focus, everybody? It's a little hard for me to tell from here. If you notice any focus problems, let me know. Rookie Reefer says, wife who says, no, I can't say I blame her. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel pretty fortunate that the only things she prohibited when we got married, I talked to her about it, said, what are things you really don't want me to have? And basically it came down to no roaches, no tarantulas, and nothing with medically significant venom. And I was okay with that. Pretty fair. That, that opens the doors up for me pretty wide, so I'm okay with it. Tanya Lita said, I thought you said human, and I flipped. I now have to go draw a human tortoise. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoise, right? Something like that. Oh, that one on the cork bark is getting pretty ferocious with that. Uh, that little fruit fly there. Potato Derp says, you should explain to your wife that cockroaches have a bad reputation for no reason and they're just any old insect. Feeder roaches won't survive outside the enclosure. Well, I do talk to her. I have talked to her about that a little bit. But uh, she had to live with roaches in Hawaii because in the apartment complex we were in in Hawaii, there were roaches and there was nothing we could do about it because all the apartments were connected. And, you know, you kill all the roaches in one uh, apartment and they all just come over from the next one and, and they come from outside too because there were tons outside um, so yeah she's not buying it I'd have unfortunately heard a few instances of people having roaches like the red runners or tur Turkestan roaches actually getting out and finding places that they can live in houses I know it's not that common but apparently it's happened and just one case is probably enough so my wife would never ever want to consider that but if I ever get my own facility, like a warehouse or something, that is not in contact with the house, she says it's okay. So that's what we'll do. Salvo Smith said, I didn't know geckos could reproduce with parthenogenesis. Does it happen to all geckos or only to some species? Uh, only a few species do it regularly. Um, morning geckos being one. There's the Indo-Pacific gecko, which also lived in Hawaii. We would see those once in a while. There is a... Um, gecko known as Heteronotia binoe, I believe, from Australia, which is a desert gecko that uh, reproduces by parthenogenesis. At least some populations do. And then there is uh, there are a few geckos like crested geckos that don't usually reproduce by parthenogenesis, but it happens occasionally. So there's there are those, those three species I know of that reproduce exclusively by parthenogenesis, and then a few species that occasionally indulge in it. Uh, but it's not a common thing. Uh, if you think of all the species of geckos, it's fairly rare because there are so many species of geckos that don't do that. Yeah, roaches in a house are generally don't cause that big of a problem, at least in small numbers, but she just hates them, and I will, I will go with it. Because like I said, it, it means that I, I can get anything I want besides those few things, so scorpions are okay, centipedes are okay. Vinegaroons are okay, and we have all of those. So, um, it, it works for me. It's pretty decent. You know what? I forgot to follow up with that like spike, but it looks like some of you uh, clicked the like button anyway, so I'm, uh, I appreciate that. Um, just so you know, those of you who often respond really quickly to uh, my videos, um, 
when I release them on Fridays, I will not be around on Friday. I'll be camping, so I will not be able to respond to it. I not I don't think I'm going to have any any internet access of any kind when I'm there. When I'm camping, so if I don't respond to you immediately, don't worry about it. It might not be until Monday that I respond to my comments, but I will get there. Um, that's that's what's going on. It just means that I'm not around to be able to answer. So Potato Dirt says, I don't understand why people dislike roaches anyway. They're just cute little beans. Well, yeah, they're they are uh, they have their appeal for sure. I mean, I worked with uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches in Hawaii, uh, not Hawaii, in the zoo when I worked at the zoo, and I liked them. I thought they were cool. I was not a fan of the roaches that got into our house in Hawaii, though. Those things were crazy and uh, hard to fight. Hard to fight. I mean, we did fight them, but it was difficult. And Salvo Smith says, Ah, I cannot blame your wife. You know how scared I am with some insects, especially roaches. Yeah, I hear you. It's, there's all different kinds of reactions to roaches, and that's pretty natural because there's all different kinds of people. Well, everybody, I'm going to wrap this up. It's kind of a short one, I'm afraid. But I hope you enjoyed watching my little geckos eat. Looks like they're, they finished off the bulk of the fruit flies. There are a few left. They're hunting down. But most of the action is over, uh, it looks like. I don't know if you can hear the little chirping that I can hear here and there. They're, they're chirping at each other. May not be coming through on the mic, but uh, thank you for for joining, and I hope you have a great week. And keep uh, your eye, eyes peeled for my video on Friday. Catch you later.